So hi dear Libra, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Taro and this is a general love reading for all the Libra Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not be a uh, uh, it might or might not resonate with you at the first place. The second thing, the rules can be reversed anytime. Third thing, this is a reading from 16 till the 22nd of January. So let's start. Your partner's current feelings for you right now are... Let's see, Libra, what is happening. Your partner's current feelings for you right now. Knight of Wands. Somebody feels like they should come forward towards you or take some kind of action towards you. Knight of Wands, right? This person is very unstable minded in and out on and off in your life in uh, in some cases it was just a physical infatuation or physical connection between you guys this person is uh, feeling like they should come towards you take some kind of action towards you let's clarify the knight of wands it is the sagittarius energy two of wands six of pentacles and the eight of swords wow this is somebody just waiting for bringing the balance back in this situation and overthinking about a situation, constantly thinking about this connection, about this relationship between you and them. So I feel things fell apart between you and this person because things were not stable at all. Okay, this person was not stable minded or you were not stable minded or you guys were not sure about each other. And uh, this person is just feeling like they should wait for the time to bring balance to the situation. But uh, they feel very, very... Obli not obliged they feel like the universe is pushing them to take some kind of action towards us but they are overthinking like whether they should take action or not whether they should come forward or not this is the situation here okay in some cases this, the connection was purely based on physical intimacy only Gemini Libra Aquarius Taurus Virgo Capricorn Aries Leo Sagittarius let's see what do you feel about this person or the situation right now Libra Six of Swords, you are, you are feeling like moving on towards a calmer water, towards a better future, towards a better uh, like uh, connection might be. Let's clarify the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Let's see. Three of Wands, Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. You are moving on towards a better future. You are feeling like you should move on towards something better, something stable, something that's going to give you long lasting happiness. Okay. Uh, in some cases, uh, you are just completely moving on from a person or relationship and you're choosing to get married to somebody else or get committed to somebody else. In some cases, it is just this energy of, okay, I have to move on from this person. I have to move on from this unstable cycle of my life and I have to move on towards something that's going to bring me long term stability, long term happiness. Okay. This is what you are feeling. You are feeling just moving on from this person or this situation, turning your back towards them because they are highly unstable. They are highly unstable minded. The situation is highly unstable. Okay, Ta Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see what this person wants from you, Libra. Just give me a second. Okay, let's see what this person wants from you or from this situation right now. Just give me a second. Tower. Oh, they want a uh, wow. They want sudden unexpected changes in this situation. They want to create a tower moment in this situation. Why? I don't know. It's they want to shock you. <laughs> Let's clarify the tower. What the hell? Let's clarify the tower. Page of Cups, the Hermit, and the Queen of Swords. Wow, this person wants to suddenly, uh, like, uh, they're realizing. They want you to realize uh, about the situation, about the connection, about what, about why everything happened the way it happened. They want to apologize to you. They want to open up with you and they want to break the silence. Wow. You are acting very cold and off and rude and detached from this person, right? And this person is kind of pissed off because of that. This person is kind of hurt because of that, right? And this person wants to, you know, suddenly they want to come towards you and uh, uh, apologize to you. Or they want to open up to you. If they were the per they were the one who keeps on ghosting you, keeps on going back and forth, keeps on, uh, uh, hang keeps on uh, hanging you on the wall and all this, this person wants to come out of nowhere and they want to apologize to you about their behavior. 
एंड दे वॉन्ट टू ब्रेक द साइलेंस वाओ वर्गो एनर्जी जेमरा लिब्रा क्वेरीज कैंसर पाइस स्कॉर्पियो लेट्स सी वट डू वॉन्ट फ्रॉम दिस पर्सन और दिस सिचुएशन राइट नाउ लिब्रा Three of Pentacles. I think you want to have, uh, work uh, in a partnership. You want to have equal give and take of energy in this connection, in this relationship. Not with this person. I think you want to uh, work with somebody else. Might be. You might be dealing with two energies at the same time because there are. This is three of Wands also, and this is three of Pentacles also. In some cases, yes, you are ready to put in the effort and energy to make this partnership work out uh, with the same person, but you want uh, somebody's help in this. Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Okay, you want to reveal some kind of unexpected to to towards something, towards someone, or you got to know something about this person regarding a third party situation here. So you want to charge, you want to take the charge of the situation, and you want to confront this person why why they did what they did with you. You're holding back. See, you are holding back, but you want to take the charge of this situation. You want answers from this person. You want to, you want them to understand that this is not how life should be or a partnership should be. So you, you uh, either you got to know something about them or you had a secret that they spilled with someone to someone, okay, and that created a lot of chaos in your life. In some cases, that they created some kind of tower moment in your life and they want to apologize to, uh, to you for that. now you just want to confront this person about why they did what they did with you why they spilled your beans or if you got to know something about them that they were lying cheating or some, doing something behind your back you want to take the charge of this situation and you want to understand why they did what they did with you uh, or why they were cheating on you wow it could be romantic cheating or it could be just simply cheating of any kind just lying to you simply might be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see what is the outcome of this situation till the twenty second of January. Eight of Swords. Overthinking, lots of overthinking, not coming out of this mental jail. No matter what you do, no matter what you try to do, I think you will be just overthinking about the situation and. the other person will be also in this and an energy of overthinking gemini libra aquarius energy let's clarify the eight of swords page of pentacles six of cups and the temperance card okay i feel like somebody is just going to desperately wait for some kind of message or communication from a past person and hope for a reconciliation I think uh, it is the person that you are dealing with, Libra. This person will be just uh, uh, hoping that you are going to unblock them or that you are going to talk to them. So somebody who is overthinking about the situation, but patiently waiting for some kind of reconciliation message, communication from your side. If you are the one who left them, they are waiting for you. If uh, they were the one who left you, you are waiting for them. So take it how it resonates with you. So in this week, I think just waiting is going to be there. I don't think somebody is coming or some reconciliation is happening. But yes, overthinking, uh, just constantly thinking twenty four into seven about the situation is going to be there. It could be possible that both of you are just going to wait for uh, the other person's uh, action and not doing anything about it because there is hell lot of drama, hell lot of tower moment, and hell lot of secrets and lies and things happen between you guys, and that's why you guys are not able to understand what exactly you guys should do about the situation. Let's see what is the guidance for you people. Sorry, Libra. Let's see what is the guidance for you people. Ten of Cups and the Tower and the Sun. I think you should just spend time with your family or the people who love you or takes cares of. Apart from this person or this messy situation, you should go ahead and spend time with your family. And I think you are going to find your happiness. in your family right now in the loved ones instead of you know uh, focusing on the love part or on this situation or on, on this stupid connection right now i'm calling it stupid because there is a lot of mess in this situation might be i'm not able to understand what kind of mess it is right the tower is again here 
so i think either you are uh, you should uh, re like uh, you should reveal everything to your family and you are going to feel a little bit lighter and you are going to find your happiness again or simply you should just spend time with your time spend time with your family and loved ones and the friends who take care of you and who cares about you then you are going to find your happiness then you are going to start being happy again slowly but surely okay yes leo energy cancer pisces scorpio so thank you so much for tuning in libra i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste